Hello, I am Fadimo and welcome to the Euronix Predictor Show. Oui, 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 oui. That was perfect. Barcelona just step up the game. I'm referring to my video assistant. She knows what it would mean. Oh. 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 Right. Open stadium! Oh. Oh. Frying pan with the meatballs. <laughs> I hope Emma Hayes isn't watching. <laughs> I've got some special guests in the house. We're going to have two teams going head to head in a number of games, talking all things Women's Champions League semi-finals and making some predictions ahead of the final. With me today, I've got none other than Dutch football superstar, Rocky Hiakai. <laughs> Love that! TikTok star and freestyler, Mamie Asgari. <laughs> It wouldn't be a Women's Champions League show without some legends in the house. Player turned coach, Women's Cup champion from 2007. We've got Anita Asante. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and Laura George in the house, two times champion of the UEFA Women's Champions League. <laughs> All right, in team one, we've got Anita and Rocky. In team two, we've got Mamie and Laura. I want to know who's most competitive, because I've heard a lot of talk behind the scenes. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now you talk? Yeah, we're super confident. <laughs> we're here to win, you know, yeah, that's what yeah. we do. It's England, Netherlands, you know, uh, yeah. It's I mean, it's a collaboration, you know? Collaboration. It just works. Yeah. The finest. Mamie's like shaking yeah. her head. I don't think she'd <laughs> We don't study. talk too much, we let them talk. <laughs> oh. We do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's play Pictionary. I will get you guys to pick a card and on the card you've selected, you'll need to sketch that card onto this lovely board that we've got here. And of course, you're going to be timed. If your teammate guesses incorrectly, it's going to be passed over to the other team. Mm -hmm. Does that all make sense? Yeah. yeah. Let's get yes. ready. Anita, let's get you up first. Let's go. Come on, Anita, let's go. Let's get that Picasso out of you. What's up? Hey, you don't watch, don't watch. <laughs> I see Woo. you. That's, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Off you go. Uh, hey, hey. Say it with your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with my eyes. Okay. Uh, football? Hey. I know, I am taking a long time. Scoring goals. Um, stadium oh, appearances. Um, <laughs> do, you, is this, is, do you also work like this as a coach? No, I can't. Um, <laughs> I can't. Uh, and that's it, time. Yeah, well, I mean. You know what? If you guess this, Rocky. It would be There's amazing. no way you're guessing amazing. this. I, don't, I can't tell from that. What, what do you think this wonderful piece of art is? I think it's, it's a frying pan with the meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Right? No, it's no. not supposed to be that. Passing no. it over to but the other nice. team. Maybe and Laura, what do you guys think this is? It's really hard to say, huh? really, I don't know, because there's, there's a ball and there's like a racket yeah. in fire. <laughs> Five. What do you think? Oh. A training session. No. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> because there's stones. And do you want to tell everyone what, what the answer was? It was supposed to be Wolfsburg. Oh, okay. But I was trying to draw a stadium, but I couldn't quite get the stadium feature. Different. Anita. Thank you so okay. much. And, uh, I think no, I'm going to have to difficult. send you away. Maybe. That's, that's okay. It's more abstract. That's okay. It is. It is. It is. It's okay. Let's go, girl. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Um, oh, a couple of more seconds ah, left, no Rocky. Yeah, um, five, handle money, four, drop money, three, high two, money. Uh, one, and that's time. <laughs> Taking it to team two. Come I on, know, guys, what I, do you think it is? It's the, um, what's the word? Miracle that's, are we doing the. That was perfect. <laughs> And I'm not English, guys. and I'm not English. Uh, <laughs> we are not. That was uh, perfect. Uh, <laughs> Moving on to Laura. But I mean Cointos, come on. Cointos. Anita, that was really poor form from you on that one. But anyway, let's oh, carry on. Baby, come on. Next one. Oh, oh come on. Come on. You can do that. Give us a stadium I mean, and a football. Give us a stadium. Right. Starting now. Okay. <laughs> a whistle? Guys, I'm just saying to okay, you Okay, whistle, stadium. This. Like two of you have to get this. Stadium. Whistle. Uh, What's that? Referee? Is it? It looks like. Is no. it? I, it's, <laughs> it looks, no. It's a blast. <laughs> okay. You need to add something else onto the page. Five I seconds. Have no left. idea. Is it a team? Arsenal. We. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just referring no, with my, I'm referring with my video assistants. VAR was definitely out of time. No, it was definitely, just definitely out of time. Sorry, Sorry. Out of time, huh? I'm French, yeah? No, they oh. didn't actually. You've got oh, the point. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was a lot of enthusiasm, but let's move on to the next round. The predictor penalty shootout. Next up, we've got a Women's Champions League penalty shootout between these legends. As you guys might have noticed, EA Sport have announced that the UEFA Women's Champions League is now part of FIFA. And we've had a special delivery this morning, a very grateful, nice delivery. We've got a PlayStation 5 and we're going to be playing this game. The rules of the games are those two over there are going to be taking part in the penalty shootout. And the teammates' responsibility is to get the question right. If you can't get the question right, I'll pass it over to the other team. And let's see who can win a penalty shootout. Good luck. <laughs> Good game. All the best. Go on, Eta. Go on, Eta. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. 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 Very oh. strong. Right, Anita, that was yours. A great penalty. No pressure, because your teammate has done their part. <laughs> no pressure. How many Women's Champions League titles do the semi finalists all have between them? So all the semi-finalists we've got now, how many titles do they have between them? Uh, let's say 10. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> do you want to take totally this? Honestly, how many finals no. or semi-finals? Uh, the semi-finalists we have now, how many Champions League and trophies do they have between them? Oh, yeah. trophy of Champions League, yeah? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't the <laughs> Maybe four. That is correct. Yeah. Hey! 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 Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. So I'm a decent so legend. Up, yeah, me. no, it's... But thank you for trying. I mean... Restart the penalties. And there oh! 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 Baby, that was good. Right. Which country has won the most number of um, Champions League titles? La France. It's France. Me. La France. Germany. Huh? Germany. Anita, you're not taking part, but that was the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the correct answer. <laughs> no, for sure, yeah. Anita, you need the points. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I know, you, I know you need the points. No, it wasn't France. Germany have won it nine times. Oh, just one. Sorry. Okay. It's okay, don't worry, we get to go again. Okay. Right. There you go. Oh. We Anita was just so excited. Oh, oh. oh. In never. The top in the top down. That's right. how Anita does. Question for you. Ada Hegberg holds the record for goals in a single Women's Champions League seasons, how many goals did she score? Can we help? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. You can just look at me and say no, no. with your eyes. <laughs> look at me as the... 16? No. Do you want to take it? 13. Oh, no, but you were close. It's 15. Oh, I'll toss <laughs> We check out. Right, don't I'm worry, it's fine. Don't worry, we're going to go again with the penalties. <laughs> Ali. Oh. <laughs> Out the stadium. Oh! oh. 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 Go. Oh. oh! That was good. In centimeters, how tall is the Women's Champions League trophy? In centimeters, let's say 
150 centimeters? I don't know. Hey. I'm one and a half meters. <laughs> one and you want to go? 90 Coffee. centimeters. 60 centimeters. You're both um, wrong. Yes. You're very yeah. far off. Yeah, like one and a half meter. Like I'm this. the closest. I'm 100. I mean, I, I, I'm 164. Where Rocky's coming from. So that would nearly make it as big as me. <laughs> yeah, this makes sense. Okay. The big, right. We need a bigger trophy. That's what she's saying. Exactly. Right, carry on, voilà, voilà. Carry on with the penalty. Nice one. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Anita. Sorry. It's all good. Good job! <laughs> Which stadium is hosting this year's Champions League final? Rotterdam. <gasps> no. I'm no. not where no. I swear! No. No. Open Stadium! <laughs> Sorry, if I could do a Philip Stadium. Sorry, if I could do a point deduction, I would, because I've mentioned it like a few times on the show today. So it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> um, that was the wrong one. It's okay. <laughs> Back to the penalties. Oh, all we do is score, score, score. Rocky, coming back to you. Sorry, I don't, I'm, I'm not. Oh. Okay, she's done her part. Now you need to do yours. I right. know, but I keep on <laughs> flaking. Okay. Which club has the record attendance in the Women's Champions League history? I need them, what the attendance is. And the attendance is yeah. a success. Uh, so it's Barcelona, Real Madrid. Yeah. And then it's, uh, let's say, over 100. No, sorry, I'm joking. Yeah, ha ha, uh, 80,000. Oh, but let's see if you can get close. I'm you said 80? Out. She said 80. She's wrong. What do you think it is? Uh, 82,000. No, guys. Ambition. It was 91,648. That's how many people attended that track. It's the 48 that took me off. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what it would mean if she doesn't score. Can I see that dance again? I was a little bit distracted. <laughs> I don't know. No. Right. No. I'm going to ask you one last question oh. though, because that was very good. How many times so have two teams from the same city reached the semi final of the Women's Champions League? Yeah. Well, I'm asking you and your team. I don't know who's going to cover. Don't try and look over my card, Rocky. I, saw I that. didn't do anything. I saw that. Just because I'm small. That's not what Twi you do. <laughs> Twice. No, it's once. Once. Once this time. Chelsea and Arsenal. It's the first time. Reaching the final? Semi-final. Playing oh, against each other. Semi-final. Oh, well. yeah. You threw me off there. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> final. Guys, thank you very much. That was <laughs> great. But guys, very quickly though, we can't play this game. <laughs> I can't play this game. But I lost control of this whole place. <laughs> Right. We can't play this game and not talk about the chelsea Leon penalty situation. Chelsea is your former team, Anita. How yeah. are you feeling on the sidelines watching that game at Stamford Bridge? You must have been nervous. I was sweating. I had nerves. Um, but no, I actually felt so confident when I saw Marin Meldia step up because I've seen her do it time and time again. And she's a real leader. Um, and from that moment, I just felt like that it's their day. And Katrin making the save. Um, incredible moment for, for Chelsea in English football. Absolutely, and it will be an incredible semi-final. Thank you very much, guys. That is the end of that game. For this next game, I want us to create the ultimate fiber-side team. We're going for the classic one-to-one -one formation using our semi-finalists. I'm going to give each team 15 seconds to argue the case for their players. So, are you guys ready? Yes. Born ready. Team one, 15 seconds. Give me your first player starting now. Anka Trinberger, uh, runner up in the UEFA Champions League, saved the penalty against yeah. Leon. You need that penalty. Rest of the semi final, uh, you know, a leader, been there with Chelsea, league titles. Three, two, uh, you know, an one. absolute. Stop. That was a good case, anyway. Period. Yeah. I'll take yeah. it. Mike Drop. Case. Team two, maybe Laura, let's go. You got 15 seconds on the clock. Off you go now. We have actually also chosen Berga. Uh, she has had an incredible season and saved an awesome penalty. That won't well, stop the clock. What? We have our goalkeeper. That was very yeah. easy. So thank we you very much for yeah. making that easy. <laughs> Let's do the next player. Off you go. Yeah, well, we'll go for, for Bonmati. Of course, her stats are up there. She's scoring goals, but her assisting, uh, yeah, her level of assists is just on top. Uh, first of all, we love creative play. Of course, I have a street football background, so we need a creative player. Ah, stop. 
That was good though. <laughs> Include yourself. Good selling point. All right, team two, I'll give you 15 seconds starting now. So Irene Paradis, when she left PSG, she came to Barcelona and you can see that uh, Barcelona just stepped up the game. She's really good, strong in the player, but she's able also like to play those long balls and those short balls. I play and with her. Stop. Special. You know what, Laura, you really sold it to me. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm going to go with Paredes on this one because I think that was really, really good. Merci. Okay. But there's still plenty. There's still plenty to choose from. Okay. We're going to come back to you guys now. Team one, next player, off you go. Lena Oberdorf, Wolfsburg, defensive midfielder, solid, does all the hard, gritty work, her decision-making, interceptions, tackles, allows creative players to get forward, had an unbelievable Three, final two, in the European Championship one, as well. stop. Heel. Really yes. Right, team two, Mamie and Laura, 15 yeah. seconds on the clock now. So yeah, so we have Manum, so young, talented player. She's she scores this incredible goal against Lyon. She's the rising star in the midfield. Obedov is a good one, but Manum is the next generation. Oh, it's the next guys, one. come on. That's really hard. You know what to do? <laughs> Don't pressure me. <laughs> Don't pressure me. <laughs> I can make my own decisions. I'm a grown woman. Wait, let me think. Right, I'm going to go with um, Team 1, Zayda Obedov. There you go. Yeah, she has to give one. Sorry. It was She's good. good. No, it was good. very good. Manum was really good. Manum is good. Rocky and Anita, you've got 15 seconds starting now. Forward Semker, she has an amazing season. She's scoring goals. She 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 just killed it in the in the US. She's killing it in England, and I'm sure also with the World Cup coming up, she's she's going to be amazing. She scores from any any position, and that's what we need, especially Stop. in the five sides. That was good. Team two, Mamie and Laura, starting now. Alexandra Pop, she's been outstanding during the Euro and last game against PSG. She scored one more goal. She's incredible, and you know in teams you need to have more ex experienced players. She's one of them. Oh. We've got Sam Kerr or Alex Pop. Experience or oh. youth? I... Guys, you know what? You sold it both very, very well. But I'm going to go with Sam Kerr. Woof, woof! Go. <laughs> That's because you live in England. It's very difficult to be there objective. There is still a chance to redeem yourself. Yeah, last one. Right, we're going to go to our fifth and final player for this amazing five-a-side team. Anita Rocky, 15 seconds on the clock. Off you go. Well, we have to pick Millie Bright. Absolute solid rock. Does all the dirty work. Gets in the tackles. Um, allows her team to release pressure, her distribution, long ball, diagonal, short passes, a threat in the box aerially. You've stop. got to have a stopper. Okay, okay. A stopper and stop. Well. That's good. Ba -ba. That was good. <laughs> right, uh, maybe a Laura, team two. 15 seconds on the clock now. So we go with Bon Mati because we need those creative players, small players. You know, we always think we need to have strong players with great technique. And she has great technique, she's small, she's a player. You don't expect to be a high level player, but she's doing the job. She's been outstanding during Stop. the Euro. That was very good though. Okay. Very good. You've sold a lot of players and you've managed to do it under 15 seconds most of the time. So I'm going to go with Bon Mati. <laughs> From the top, we have got Bon Mati, Paredes, Obadov, Sam Kerr and Anna Katrenberg in goal. And that completes our five-a-side team. Good choices, guys. Here is our randomizer. We have four categories, and as a team, you'll each get a turn. The four categories are fan questions, who am I, this or that, and most importantly, predictions. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Love yeah. that. Thank Doubles. you. Let's spin the wheel. Oh. Who am I is for everyone, so I'm going to read you a statement and whoever clicks the buzzer first gets to answer and you're going to guess who am I talking about. But before we get into it, I just want to know what your buzzers sound like. So, Mamie, do you want to go first? <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> all right, it's my turn. Very practical, all right, all right. very practical. All right, all right. Yes. <laughs> right, Laura, what does yours sound like? Allez, 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 allez. <laughs> <laughs> a French flavour. Danita, you go ahead. <laughs> All we do is win. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Haven't been the case. Hasn't been the case. But okay. <laughs> right, guys. Going ahead first. We have got Arsenal, Birmingham City, Arsenal, 
Boston Breakers, Arsenal, and then 140 caps for England. Who am I? Alex Scott. It is Alex Scott. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Boston Breakers, Arsenal. Nice. That was so quick. And she is a winner of, of course, the Women's Cup in 2007 with Arsenal. It's a good memory there you've got, Laura. Yeah. Let's get back to the randomizer. Spin the wheel. Team one, who do you guys think will get the golden boot this year? Bon Mati, bon Mati. from bon Mati. Barcelona. Good choice. Is there any particular reason why you think like she's going to get the golden boot this season? Yeah, because yeah. she's a creative midfielder who's been scoring more this season, taking lots of responsibility at Barcelona, and her stats are incredible, and I just don't see that slowing down. Yeah. And, and I think it has to be a player from the winning team. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's why we think Barcelona's going to win. So. Yeah. yeah, and also she has been involved in 11 goals this season. It's more than any other player in the Women's Champions yeah. League. Yeah. What do you guys think that is that makes this Barcelona team so strong? I think it's their fluidity as a team that, you know, they are possession oriented and they create a lot of opportunities because they're so creative as well. Um, agile players, difficult to stop and they all understand their playing their playing style. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't agree more. So let's get back to the randomizer and see what the next one is. <laughs> right, guys. Um, next one is fan question. Mamie, I'm coming to you. Who is your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration is Nadine Diem. She's a minority playing for the national team in Denmark and I'm born and raised in Denmark and I'm a minority. She's a phenomenal footballer and just a phenomenal human. Yeah. Right, on that note, let's get back to the randomizer. Spin the wheel. <laughs> Rocky, text or voice note? Voice note. Why voice note? Voice notes just easy. You don't have to type, and I'm just that I'm just a person I'd like to talk, and I can do voice notes for nine or ten minutes. Uh, we do we do whole wow. podcasts. And back to the randomizer. Let's spin the wheel and see what's up next. <laughs> we have got this or that, and we're coming to maybe this time football or freestyle. Oh, that's difficult. Really. Both? <laughs> I can't do both. Is this or that? Oh, freestyle. If I throw you a ball now, you're going to show us some tricks. Yeah, yeah. I can show oh, yeah. some stuff. <laughs> right. I've got your ball. <laughs> oh. Woo! Go, go. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Woo! That was good. That was very good. All right, let's get back to the randomizer. winning between Chelsea and Barcelona, but I also want what you think the score is going to be. Coming to Anita first. Scoreline. Oh, I think it's going to be 3-1. To who? Barca. Former Chelsea player, Anita, what's going on? Because I think that if Chelsea have had a bit of luck in this tournament and in the season, and I think that helps, but I think... You play a team that has a lot of possession of the ball, it's really difficult oh, for a long season with lots of games and they're still going for the title race. I just don't know if they'll have that energy to push them over. OK, I hope Emma Hayes calls you about that. I hope Emma Hayes isn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> She's got better stuff right. to do. She's good, no. Rocky, what do you think the score's going to be? Uh, so I agree with my teammates, for sure. Uh, she's a very wise woman. So I'd like to say, yes, 3-1 for Barcelona. And um, yeah, I don't have anything to do with Chelsea, so. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Rocky, do you reckon we could have penalties again in that second leg? Well, it would be nice. Uh, I mean, as, um, as, as me as a neutral watcher, you know, you want to just have the whole game played and then the penalties. I mean, the, that, that quarterfinal was just, uh, I mean, I was on the tip of my toes. It was amazing. So let's, let's do it again. I want to get another prediction from Team 2. Who is winning between Wolfsburg and Arsenal? I think Arsenal is going to win 2-1. And I say, Wolfsburg will win 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. There's a divided team over there. Oh, oh, oh. oh we We're said you Wait, okay, right. Laura, you tell me why do you think Wolfsburg going to win? I would say Wolfsburg because they have this experience and really strong player in the back. 
but also like this young player Oberdorf that we know. But for in they have Pager and they also have uh, Alexandra Pope. It's really strong. A lot of experience. Yeah. And Arsenal, it's been complicated for them to go but to the semi final. Stepping up, the like match against Bayern, it was incredible. I wish them the good luck, but I know what Germans are able to oh, do. So. Okay. What about you guys for Wolfsburg and Arsenal for that second leg? What do you think that score is going to be? I still see Wolfsburg going all the way and even winning 3-0. <laughs> That's oh. a very high score. Like, even if I respect sorry, the work took, of Arsenal I was and I see fire. the girl play and the coach is well, still 3-0. Okay, maybe it doesn't look like she agrees. She's no, I don't. I think it's going to be a very close game, but I think Arsenal is going to win 2-1. Oh, right, okay. Just on that, though, Wolfsburg have fallen in the last three Women's Champions League semi-finals. So how do you think they can go ahead this time and get past this next semi-final stage? It's all about the revenge. Yeah? All about, like, saying, okay, we have to do better. We have to step up the game. We... They've always been in finals. And, like, missing three, they say, uh-uh. Lyon is not. PSG is not. Why not? That's yeah, true. Another time. We need another champion. Oh, okay. You know what? I feel like this could go on forever. So let's get back to but the she's randomizer. She's in my team. Me. Spin that wheel. <laughs> right. Another fan question. Rocky, what advice would you give to your younger self? Um, yeah, I think. For me, I would say like your difference was your beauty all along. I think this is a quote that that we've you know that that's that's not mine, but uh, yeah, to me, um, especially growing up in in football, I think we are, we're from the same generation. Uh, it was different. People were calling you names. People were making ridicule me for playing football, and that was something that I um, that I carried with me for a very long time. Uh, so I wish that I would have been like celebrated from the beginning instead of having to fight all the time, which also gives you a lot of character or, it, you know, it makes your skin a bit thicker. We were talking about yeah. that. But to me, like, uh, your difference is your power. And, yeah, um, absolutely. So that. Oh, I love that. Well, we're definitely celebrating you here today. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, let's get back to the randomizer for another spin. <laughs> oh, this is all open. that. Anita, TikTok or Instagram? Instagram. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Not, not much of a not even on in, Not even on TikTok. Not a dancer? Not a dancer. Well, I love a dance, but I leave that to my, my players. It's... Sorry, I just got to bring up Mamie, who is a TikTok superstar. What have you got to say to our contender today? I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> get, you know I'm what, sorry, Mamie, Mamie, after this show, I get her on. Now. We need to get yeah. her on. We're going to we get your ticket. You're going to get me on. Account. Back to the randomizer, let's spin that wheel. <laughs> oh, who am I? As always, it's for everyone. Hands by your side and not on your buzzers, guys. Oh, Come I'm on. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, I'm not doing that. Fair play in this house. <laughs> okay, okay. But, okay, right. I'm going to read you another one. It is Turban Potsdam Leon. Oh, yeah. I didn't even finish. <laughs> I have to wait. Everything? No, you got to give me an answer now because you, you interrupted me. So what's the Oh, answer? you have to finish your answer. No, but you got to give me an answer. I was going to say... It's Ada Edelberg. She's right. Six time. You're lucky you're right. You're, you're lucky you're right. Positive. Six time Leon. Women's Champions League winner, all-time leading goal scorer, legend, Ada Hegberg. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right, back to the wheel. In the wheel and let's see what's coming up. Oh, prediction. Barcelona, Barcelona. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a mixed race. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> all of them together. Arsenal and Barcelona. Do you all agree that could be a final? Yes. Well, Mamie does. Yeah. I do. We Mamie don't agree. Does. I will agree on that. <laughs> it can happen. It's the same balls. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, guys. That is the end of that round. Right, guys, that has been an incredible show, but we've sadly come to the end. We've learned an awful lot and looked ahead to what should be an incredible semi-final. And the winner of today's show has been, drum roll, please. Ba -da 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 -da. Team two! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Commiserations, team one, I'm so sorry. But ultimately, oh, it was Mamie and Laura that won this game. <laughs> you can't leave yet, you can't leave yet. Go back to where you are. We're not done yet.
Before you get away <laughs> celebrating, that was so much fun. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've really enjoyed it. For everyone at home, remember you can watch all Women's Champions League action on the Zone's YouTube channels. You can also win some prizes by playing the Euronix bracket game on the UEFA website or app and make your predictions on who you think will win those remaining games and ultimately win that Champions League final. And you too could also be a winner. The Predictor Show will be back from the house of We Play Strong on June the 3rd, which is, of course, the Champions League final. Make sure you're following all of the social channels. You're subscribed to We Play Strong and see you very, very soon. <laughs>